What up with you guys, you know who it is. It's your boy, John Mike, back again today with the Nectar Impact GX Mini uh, from the good folks over at Nectar. They shot this over. This is the new keyboard in their uh, GX series. They've been doing a whole series on these uh, with the GXP all the way down to now the GX Mini. So they've set this up, giving you all of the kind of controls and things that you would find in the larger uh, Impact series. Uh, they give you bit width. Uh, as the software for it doesn't come with any other uh, software uh, outside of that and this lives in the $69 range so you're talking about 70 bucks uh, for this uh, little thing uh, again so we're gonna check it out and we're gonna see what it's talking about let's get it out of the box let's see what's in the box and let's go so inside the box you get the keyboard itself you get um, information software card and you get the little sustain uh, pedal adapter thingamajiggy. We'll look at that in a minute. And then, of course, uh, the USB cable. Uh, that's all that comes in the box. Box is empty. But uh, this thing is really, really small um, comparatively. Uh, let me grab one of my other mini controllers so you can kind of see the difference. So here it is in comparison to size with the MPK Mini. Mini has a, a MPK has a really big forehead, as you can see, compared to that. And here it is comparative to the M Audio Oxygen Pro. So you're getting a very compact unit, keys, uh, small, uh, and stuff like that. My hand, I have big hands, of course. So as you can see, my hands cover the whole gamut, but you're getting 25 keys. Their whole kind of thing is uh, dealing with the joystick instead of a uh, regular pitch being my wheel. We'll see how that kind of plays. You got Trent, you got octave, you got transport controls uh, and all of those little things like that. And then they say that there is integration uh, with pretty much every major DAW from uh, all the way down to Cakewalk, if you guys are still using Cakewalk out there, uh, Sonar, uh, all of those different things like that, Fruity Loops, uh, all of them, they say and claim that there is a integration that works with this and it's kind of plug and play. So we're going to see, I got Logic, we're going to plug it up, we're going to see what we can do with it in Logic. There's nothing really on the back of the unit, side of the unit has the uh, sustain jack uh, and the USB, uh, which is, you know, pretty cool. So here's the little sustain, uh, you know, adapter that goes with it. You plug it into the side and then you plug your, you, you plug your, you know, your sustain pedal jack in there. But you know, a keyboard this size, uh, you might need a sustain pedal depending on what kind of music you do. Uh, you're not going to be playing like full, you know, concerto pianist kind of things with this. You're just going to be kind of, you know, getting some little small things done but the keys as is uh don't feel bad uh, i actually like the feel of this comparatively to other um you know other ones that are on the market i hate i didn't get this this just came out i hate i didn't get to get this into my um you know shootout i did a couple of weeks ago uh with the you know all of the mini mini controllers this this had not came out when i did that review so i wasn't able to get it in there but uh this is pretty cool the joystick all of that stuff like that let's plug it up and let's see what this thing is talking about so it feels good keys wise uh everything's in now this little flicker this is uh from the camera that's actually it's actually like a solid orange color but the way my shutter speed and all of that is set is causing uh, those issues or whatever but um keys feel good so it feels good for what it does it's it's a nice filling key bed uh almost is comparable to me as the um uh, one of my favorite fields which is the um native instruments uh s61 it kind of it has that same kind of like springiness it's probably not the same key bed i'm pretty sure it's not the same key bed uh but it does good but now they have the joystick here and that's the benefit of having a joystick versus like your traditional kind of pitch being my wheel type deal it allows you to be a little bit more expressive you know now the drawback to having uh, uh, a joystick versus a pitch bin is that when you want to do like modulation effects like on an EP or organ, you know, patch where you, you know, push up the 
push up the modulation to get the, uh, you know, the, the vibrato effect. You know, and normally on a pitch bin or a mod wheel, with a mod wheel, you can push it all the way up and it'll just stay and you'll get the sustained kind of that. Uh, same with the organ. But with this type of board, you're not going to be playing that type of stuff on here. You know, you might have an organ maybe, you know, just to do some little stuff. But this is for like, this is for like, I would use this board like as an aux board for soloing. Uh, you know, if I was using it live, it'd be perfect for that because it's really, really small, compact. Uh, you can set it up really quick. Uh, so I'd use this for like a lead synth. You know, when I'm trying to do like a solo or something like that, maybe playing some aux strings or pads or whatever, just some one chord things, because you're not going to be able to really play. You got 25 micro keys, so you're not going to be able to do like a whole lot with this. This is for composing, moving on the go, uh, and it has all of uh, the little functions and features you would need to make that happen. So in order to gain access to the DAW integration, you're going to have to register the product. It takes you through a whole step. I didn't want to show it because it show my serial number, uh, but it takes you to a process where you select what DAW you use, and then you can actually download the uh, file. Uh, for that particular thing. So once you've installed the driver and all of that stuff like that, next time you open up your DAW Logic, whatever the case may be, you can hit auto assign. Then once you get in Logic, you'll connect the device, you'll click on your GX Mini, and you'll make sure you got all of that set up. Then once you've got all that assigned, you should be able to just control all your functions, uh, all your transport controls and stuff should work uh, just fine. Turn on loop and all of those basic things. Because it's just basically for the transport controls because you don't really have many other functions. Now, you got some advanced stuff, you know, on here with like your MIDI channels and all of those different things like that. But that's pretty much the workflow uh, when it comes to uh, this particular controller. So that's pretty much it. It's a pretty dope controller for the price. 70 bucks, 69.99, 70 might as well round it up, right? Uh, so you get the DAW control of your particular DAW. You get a little joystick and some nice filling keys. I think it's totally worth it for that. I mean, it's very comparable. It's under a uh, hundred bucks and it's portable uh, as jack. You're not going to have any problem fitting this in any bag or, um, you know, just sliding it around somewhere. Uh, it fits comfortably on pretty much any type of desk. Uh, this is a really small desk that I have. You can't tell because I don't have a full gamut, but this is a really, you know, small desk, so it fits comfortably on this desk. So I think it's a winner. Uh, Nectar kind of gave us something that works really good in the this price range under a hundred bucks. Uh, I think you should check it out. If you want to check it out, there's an affiliate link down below uh, that helps out the channel whenever you use it. And I always appreciate when you guys uh, do that to help support and do all those things that we're doing here. So I appreciate you guys checking out this video hope it helped you i hope it blessed you uh check out nectar do all those things like that uh i'll talk to you guys on the next one you know how we do hit the like button the share button drop a comment down below let me know what you think about it uh and i'll see you guys later i'm out holla at your boy